messenger of God, and he is a Messiah. I don't need prophecy from the Old Testament. Right, I'm not I got no, my Quran. I'm, I'm not no educated man. Yeah. You believe in all the other prophets? Yeah? I do, yeah. You know, we Muslims don't discriminate between prophets. We acknowledge all the true prophets of okay. God. All we right. acknowledge Prophet like, Muhammad, about, Jesus, what Moses. About Isaiah, chapter nine, verse six. What about? Help me to understand. What about? I'm asking you to help me. To what does it say? As you know yourself, a cause and wonderful counselor, yeah. mighty God, yeah. eternal Father. Who calls Jesus eternal Father? Let's put it that way. Well, does sure. anyone? Does anyone? That's why I'm asking you to help me. Yeah. But you're the asking me to tell me this. No, you know I'm the reason I don't believe that prophecy is about Jesus. Okay, One point me. is that he's called eternal Father. Yeah. Yes. We know that the Father is distinct from the Son. But it's before it says the Son unto us is born. Yeah, but even, even that, one thing you need to acknowledge is that the Son is distinct from the Father. The Son is not the Father. That's and true. no one ever calls Jesus or confuses Him with the, with the Father. They always say the Father is the one who is in charge of the Son. He commands Him what to do. He worships Him as God. So we know for a fact that Jesus never confuses Himself with the Father. All right, but I'm asking you to help me understand what was Isaiah speaking about? Isaiah was speaking about pro probably another person. Yes, that's what the Jewish people say. Some of them say that he's talking about... Uh, why does he call this son God? Look, the term God again in Hebrew, yes, many people are called God. It wasn't only Isaiah who called. For example, do you know that Moses is called Elohim? Okay, carry Elohim on. to the Pharaoh. The term Elohim means God. Do you think Moses yeah, but is you God? Gotta look at the context. Exactly my from... point, my friend. Thank you very much. And that's why I'm actually the And that's me. the reason I'm telling you. Look at the context. The context doesn't tell you that this is about Jesus. The context doesn't say that this is about Jesus or, or that this is about Almighty God. Because if someone knows Jesus, they will know that none of the government was upon his shoulder. None of the government. Will you explain to me Isaiah 53 then? What does it say again? As you know, it's speaking about. For his our affirmities, he will be crushed uh, by his fights for him. Stuff like that. Help me to understand. Isaiah, if you read Isaiah 52, it's clear in there. So the context again is important. I think I have it here. If you let me just quote it quickly. So many oh, people believe that Isaiah 53 is referring to. I think it's Isaiah 42 also, and it speaks about in the wilderness, someone will make him way straight for Yahweh, the Lord. Yeah. Jesus. Isaiah 42. I can't, I, this is what I'm saying. Yeah? If you can't argue, don't I'm argue. not arguing, <laughs> but I'm just saying I can't get my mind around yeah. that this is not Jesus Christ. It is not, because if Jesus Christ was indeed God Almighty, then he wouldn't be worshipping God himself, would he? Can you get your head around that? That if, if there is a God Almighty, would he ever worship anybody else as God? But I'm, I'm asking you to help me to ask, understand Isaiah. No, no, because you, I, I believe you're a man who uses logic. That's why you're asking me, help right. me understand yeah, You're this. asking me, when I'm asking you to no, help it's me, a logical you're question. asking me a question. Yeah, right. but this is, so this is for you to, to use logic. I'm asking you to educate no, no. me. You see my friend. Something that you believe. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is about us as human beings using our intellect to you, know God. Right. But if you believe in something and you keep on asking me questions, that means I have to explain what I believe in. And I'm still not getting no further on with you and what you believe. No, it's not about your so belief. It's you about believe? your logic, your understanding, so who, using your intellect. No, Forget about all the holy books. Logic, sure okay, my logic is this. If there is an almighty God, yeah. then he wouldn't worship anyone. Do you agree or disagree with that logic? Okay, I can understand where you're No, but do you agree or disagree with that logic? Because, uh, come on, you should have some, your own, what do you say, um, understanding of certain things. Well, I do understand that the Father is not the Son and the Son is not the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but do you believe God would... Do you know all this already? No, no, listen. Do you, ever be... do you ever understand the point I'm making? That God Almighty doesn't have a God? Okay, all right. I'm going to accept you, what you're saying. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Don't just accept. I want to know if you understood that. Okay, yeah, I understand what okay? you're saying. Okay, so God Almighty does not have a God, period. Okay? okay. There's no ifs and buts about it for people yeah. who believe in God. I know. But... Okay? Now, if Jesus worship God yes. yes what does that imply okay I understand what you're saying which okay, is that, that which is Jesus it can't be God if he's worshiping God absolutely all right does it make sense but to you I'm still asking you yeah what was Isaiah speaking about I think Isaiah 53 In I all think, these prophecies what what is what is your main point about Isaiah 53 do you well, have you read it he's making straight for Yahweh he's not Yahweh. saying he's oh, prophet He's not saying his messenger or anything at the same time. He's, he's, not, he's Yahweh, calling him Yahweh. 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 I think you are talking about Jesus. No, when you talk about Yahweh, yes, it is talking about God Almighty. Jesus himself never considered him to be Yahweh. So how can you say that prophecy is about Jesus? 
would I re would I believe the we, we the can't. testimony of Jesus or no. testimony of someone who's interpreting no, Isaiah? Jesus, or, sorry, according to the Christian so faith, was crushed for our infirmities. Say again. Was, according to the Christian faith, yeah. that Jesus was crushed for our infirmities and he was striped for <laughs> for our healing. You already know all this anyway, so I'm asking you. No, the question was, you. did he ever claim to be God? That is the question I want to ask you. Because that is your main point, like, isn't it, about Isaiah 53? But, but that's what I'm saying, why, I can't get my head around it. I can't, the more sense it makes for me that it must be Jesus. It can't be. That's the sense that it makes to me, sir. No. And to you, it, don't, it makes a difference. My friend, you yourself said that God cannot have a God. I'm saying, I, I you yourself what you're admitted saying, that. Yeah? No, you, no, you no, admitted that because I asked you that. Me. I didn't. I don't truly believe that. Well, you don't believe I, that God said, cannot have a God? I understand what you're saying. So do you not believe that God doesn't have a God? I understand what you're saying. It doesn't mean I'm agreeing. No, no. All right. Do you believe God can have a God? God can have a God, no, because there's only one God. Exactly. So you do believe it then. But you I, believe what I'm saying. But I you don't only understand it, but you also believe it. And you know it. As I said to you, sir, I'm no big educator. It's not about educator, my, my friend, every, God has given I, uh, intellect to everyone, including you, including compared myself, including everyone else. It in the hours that I find, it's not even comparable. It's not about, look, this is simple logic. God doesn't have a God. Simple yeah, logic. If you're recording. Okay, anyway. So, look, the important point yeah, is this. If, if Jesus, I, I would rather, you know, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll believe my teachings. Sir, the reason why I want to address it is to learn. Yeah, of course. What's your name? John. John. Johnny? But that don't mean I'm going to believe what you're saying. Okay? Keep an open but mind. My brother, keep an open mind. Why you believe. And That's look, why I'm talking Jesus said, if you love me, you will believe my teaching. Jesus' teaching is that only Father is the only true God. So if you love Jesus, you'll, you'll obey his teachings. Otherwise, of course it you're, you're obeying the church. And how, do I, how do I get around when he says he's the only way to Father? Sorry? How do you get around when he says he's the only way to Father? He's the way, but not the destination. By the way, we believe that Jesus was the way during his time. We have no issues with that. Every prophet during his time, if the people did not believe him, then they would not be led to Almighty God and salvation. So Jesus, you know when Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth and the life, we say amen to that. No one. At that time, no one, if they disobey Jesus' teaching, will go to the Father means go to God. We'll have salvation. And today, my friend, if you disbelieve Jesus' teaching, you will not have salvation either. So when Jesus says in John 17, 3, that the Father is the only true God, He didn't say the Father, Jesus, and the Holy, Pro uh, the Holy Spirit. He said only the Father. Oh, okay. This so believe a, His teaching. This is a problem, why? Yeah? Which is? In John 8, yeah. where He claims to be I am. And they pick up stones and stones. I am is again, doesn't mean Yahweh. But, but this is I am doesn't mean Yahweh. Right. Let's put it that way. Simple as that. Okay. In, in the Jewish context, I am. No, even in the Jewish context, if you if you look at the Why? Jewish translation of Exodus 3:14, you will not find the term "I am." You'll find that he he will be sorry, he will be or he is something about the future. Why did he pick up stones? Because they always wanted to kill Jesus because he was claiming not only to be the Messiah but to have the truth from God Almighty, and he was always rebuking them for their falsehood. So obviously, know, obviously they wanted to kill him. No, I know you want to have a discussion, but the important thing is this. The Jewish people wanted to kill him, not because he spoke the truth. Sorry, not, not because he was uh, uh, claiming to say something about God or about saying, I am. They wanted to stone him because Jesus in John 10, 30 answers that question. He says that the Jewish people are called gods and all I say is, I am God's son. You see, he's trying right. to compare I've, himself to them. I've been told. Yeah? Again? I've been told. Yeah. Yeah. When he says before Abraham was, I am. And he's claiming to be God. No, that's not true. You have been told wrong. Okay. You know why you have been told wrong? Because this is what the Trinitarians and the church want you to believe. And what about if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, prove it to me. Simple no, as that. What I'm just saying is, if it's wrong, and Jesus is who he claims to be, what does that mean? For okay, you? how about this? Forget about you, forget about me. Let's see what Jesus testifies to God Almighty. I see, you know, in John, your question. You come to a different no, but I'm answering. I'm answering your question. You're, I'm saying my testimony, Johnny. My question, uh, sorry, my, my answer or your answer? Yes. Do you think that is better than Jesus' own testimony? When so, Jesus Himself never no, ever claimed. I, Lisa, I appreciate if you don't put me on this. I'm not going on this. Okay. Well, I speak his corner, you know. I understand. Yeah. And I respect, so, so, I respect you. And by the way, you, you as it. a missionary were, were. I just handed these. Yeah, I know. You as a missionary wanted to hand this to Muslims. So I think we. It's a good thing we had a conversation. 
Yeah. Maybe we learn from each other, isn't it? Like, I don't know, my friend. If we were talking about something that I know very well, I could have a conversation. Yeah, yeah but if you but are, if you are as a missionary distributing about Jesus Christ, and you talk about Jesus Christ, then I should, I would assume that you know a bit about Jesus Christ. A bit. Good. Not so, worried, would honest. you, would you, why would you not take the testimony of Jesus Christ? Why do you oppose it? So when Jesus says the Father is the only true when God, when he says I am the way to Allah, look at all this stuff. I know you won't. We actually have you on this way. I'm not qualified for this. Okay, that's fine. Like Johnny, no problem. All right. Ashim, look, all Ashim I'm saying. Ashim is a good man. He was drinking. He, no, I never said Johnny wasn't a good man. Did I say that? Very good man. Very good. Man. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. The reason he came to me because he said he wants to learn something from me. And look, you know, we learn from each other. There shouldn't be any arrogance here. At the end of the day, I myself would consider myself to be a student so of many other people who know more than me. You obviously understand I believe in Jesus. No, I don't. The only way I know. You are a Trinitarian. You believe in the Trinity. So no one believes okay. that. I'm, but I'm saying that Jesus himself, he testifies against you. Okay. But on the day of judgment, we'll find out. Yeah, but it might be too late. So work now and obey the teachings of Jesus, who I acknowledges you, only the Father, the He's I, God, the as the true God. When I see you debate people, yeah. know, why are we going back? <laughs> the irony, then. This lady is also know, recording. I know, I, I'm assuming I know, she's with you. I know you need videos to watch Commander do so. No, no, this is for us for educational purposes, mainly. Yeah. You know, for us, many times, even though interlocutor is not someone that we want to talk to, but we do for educational purposes. a good man, I respect if you don't do that. You have to tell the cameraman, it's not my shot. Fair enough. Speak to the cameraman. Speak to the cameraman. It's not my prerogative, it's not my. I come to have a private conversation. I don't want to be plastered all over YouTube. Guys, maybe you should listen to this brother if he doesn't want to be on YouTube. Can you just record me and not him? Is that okay? I just wanted to know a few things that was all. That's fine. That's why you believe. Yeah. you keep on asking me questions. No, I told you what I believe as well. God bless you. But please don't deny the testimony of Jesus. I know, and I believe that he is the Lord and Savior. So if Jesus says to you that the Father where, is the only I'm true God, why do you deny it? Whether I'm educated to have a conversation with you is one thing. But that does not mean it's inaccurate. Johnny, if Jesus tells you that the Father is the only true God, why I, do you deny it? I used to start asking you how, about how that's me, how that's me, how that's me. I'm not and asking I know you. and you don't know. I'm not asking you. I'm it. telling you about Jesus' testimony. Yeah, I'm not I, asking you anything. I'm just giving you an example. I, yeah. If you don't know, you don't know, my friend. I don't know. No, but what it seems to me that even the even the very Bible in which Jesus is testifying, you disbelieve them. Why is that, Johnny? You're saying I disbelieve. Them. Yeah, you you disbelieve the fact that Jesus. Yeah, but you just can't take the parts that you want to say. No, but every part. You show me. I tell you what. You show me any part in the Bible where Jesus tells you to obey and worship a triune God. There's none. Yeah, but you can apply that to your own belief. I do. And that's, that's why I abide. The same question. You know, you I'm know. If you ask me, Johnny, if you ask me the same question about the Quran, why do we worship Allah? There are several places in the Quran where Allah but tells. Not yeah, but you said it applies to me, and I'm telling no, you why it applies to me. It does. It does because anyway. if God tells you that He is God, then you shouldn't accept anyone else as God. If Jesus tells you who the true God is, then you should obey. If you love Jesus, then obey His teachings. That's all I'm asking. Okay, Johnny. Anyway, very nice talking to you. Hopefully next time we'll have a better conversation.